first and foremost, welcome to the Sunbury Hex Arena. Yeah. Hundreds of professionals, hundreds of volunteers, thousands of hours put into this. Uh, I can't thank these people enough. Um, today you're going to hear the story about how this building came to be. Uh, but like any good book, we're going to give you the movie version. Okay. And I get the role of the annoying guy on the DVD when you push the extras buttons. That's going to be me today. Okay. So we're going to preview a couple of the scenes. We're going to meet some of the actors and actresses that played parts in this role. We're going to uh, see some of the behind-the-scenes footage. We're going to talk to some of the cast. Um, but I'm going to paint the picture for you here to start. Imagine a long, lazy river. It's a beautiful day. And off in the distance, you see this little raft floating towards you. You think, what the heck is going on? And as the raft gets closer, the first thing you notice is the raft and the shape of the raft. It's battered. It's beaten. It's duct taped together. It's leaking water like crazy. It's barely survived the trip down the river. And you look a little closer as the people get closer, and the first thing that you notice is their eyes. They're haunted. They're tired. Right? <laughs> they're bedraggled. Their clothes are torn. Uh, they haven't slept in weeks. And you'll notice some of the people here have that kind of same look as them. They come through here. But as the raft grows even closer, and you look at these people even more, you realize that behind the bruises and the blood, and the, the red eyes, there's a sense of satisfaction. There's a sense of accomplishment. They've survived something. And this has been a survival for us. Um, we made it. But think to yourself, what happened to these people? What, what put them in this position? So jump back in time and notice these same people. They're much younger. Okay? <laughs> much, much younger. Okay? And they're at the amusement park. And you see them getting off a ride. It's a roller coaster. And they look annoyed, and they look frustrated. Because the first three, four, five years of this project were like a roller coaster. We went up, we went down, we went left, we went right. But we always ended up back where we started. We couldn't get traction. Okay? And it was frustrating. It was frustrating to all of us. Okay? Frustrating to the city, the bank, our membership, and us sort of trying to get this done. So the scene changes a little bit, and you see the same people walking down in the river. You see a great big sign that says, white water rafting. It's fun. It's free. Come on board. So we did. And we thought, how hard could this be? We'll just get on the raft, we'll float down the river. At the end, we'll be all good. Turns out when you go white water rafting, it's not quite always as you expect. There's some bumps. Um, there's rocks that threaten to tear our raft wide open. We weren't sure which fork of the river to take probably 80, 90, 100 times. You know, decisions that were made. There was some spectacular scenery. There were some perilous rapids and huge waves. But we continued to move forward. Okay? We continued to make progress. We almost lost it all a few times. Uh, financial Falls was one where I thought we lost it you know, almost three or four times. We righted the ship. We lost some people along the way. Um, rebar time. I'm sorry, rebar. Oh yeah, rebar rabbits took out quite a few of our members. We talked about that last night. Uh, mesh time Ben took out a few more. Uh, but we gain people along the way, good people, strong people, heroes of this movie, as you'll see. We picked up people that, if we were Boy Scouts, we were giving out badges, you'd see these people around the ring with a thousand badges, from the ice building badge, to rebar badge, to rubber matting badge. These people were here for the duration. These people made this project happen. They're the heroes. You may not see them in the movie. You may see them just as the credits roll by and you see their name. Every single person that stepped through this door is a hero of this project. Everything that they did made this possible. Okay? So along the way, as we passed down the river, we had a lot of people that laughed at us as we went by, this big dragon group as we went by. It can't be done. It won't be done. You don't have enough resources. You don't have enough time. You can't. We can. We did. That's what makes this project special. So, as we sit here today, most of you had parts in this movie. Big parts, small parts, everyone played a role. If you just watched the movie, there's still time to get involved. There's still things left to do. Come on and join us. So, as we come to the end of this, 
and the dramatic music kind of slows down a little bit. We get to the lazy scene in the river that floats by. We learned a couple of things as we, as we went down this river that had proved. Things that I never ever would have thought. First of all, it makes a great team and takes a great team to get here. And this is a fantastic team. From the workers that were paid to be here, from our volunteers, from the people that financed this project, every single person is a hero of this movement. Understand that there are no people above and below. Everyone did their job. Everyone got this done. Secondly, nothing is as easy as it looks. Nothing. I promise you. This has been a chore. It's been a privilege. It's been an honor. Um, so what else we learned? It takes a community to build an ice cream. It really does. It's not just a couple of people. It's an entire community. Communities build ice cream. But one last thought. Ice cream is Thank you. I don't believe I got to follow that. So I don't have a story or anything. I just thank you. I am Jennifer um, Fritz, and I am the president of Southern Baby Association. Um, here with me because I am a hockey mom, and this is extremely emotional for me. No. <laughs> <laughs> First, I'd like to thank our membership. This has been a very unique season. We've had a lot of challenges with traveling, and our membership has been extremely patient. We've been up very early mornings for practices before school, and we've been traveling throughout Bay County and just outside of Bay County to area um, arenas. And it's been a lot of time commitment for our families, and I greatly appreciate how I have not heard any complaining, and that is awesome. We have a strong association, and I appreciate that. I'd like to thank the Summer Prairie Hockey Board of Directors. I'd also like to thank the Summer Prairie Hockey Past Board of Directors, our alumni board. This project did st start many years ago, like Josh said, and a lot of the people that sat on those previous boards put a lot of time into this, and they don't seem to get recognized as much as the current board does, and your time and effort is greatly appreciated. Um, as Josh stated, many people throughout our hockey community, surrounding associations, we've heard rumors galore that this was never going to happen. I got a, a message the other day that they heard that one of our pipes closed our smart building and we were flooded and that wasn't going to open. So what I'd like to say is much of the success of the completion of this project is our volunteers from our members, and also our alumni members. We have had many people that don't have kids skating anymore in this, with our association, that have come in countless hours, day after day they've been here. We've also had volunteers, obviously, that are outside of our association, and I just can't thank you enough to our membership, our alumni membership, and those who have helped with this project. This is a, um, to open this facility on time, we are on time. This is the date we picked. Chalk scheduled our our first home games tonight, many months ago. We are we did this today on time. That is a huge accomplishment, and I think everyone. Um, 
he's been here for probably the past month after work. Some nights I will call him and say, are you coming home? It's 11.30. Um, and then obviously he's up early morning for work. So I just, I love you. Thank you for all your time. My son Alex, who is a freshman this year, he's not very happy with me because he was um, forced to stay in school today and not just get out of school. <laughs> Uh, my parents, Jean and Alex Hudson, and my brother, Jock. I thank all of you so much. You know how much time that, this, yeah. that, that, that I put into this along with yeah. others. And I've been away from work a lot, so I appreciate your patience and your support. <sighs> Where is he? Where's Chuck? Chuck. Over here. <laughs> <laughs>
just want to recognize and thank a few, few people. Uh, our first from the Stevens team, uh, they're here somewhere. The project manager, Rome, Roman and Margaret. They've never been involved with a project like this, where they've just seen the dedication and the volunteers coming in at night, and just how special the project that this is for them to, to have been in, and very, very unique in, in, in the place of uh, the here. So, I also want to recognize Tom Simon, our superintendent on the project. All of our subcontractors. There's uh, been a, a great list of subcontractors on the project, and I'm just going to go through a few of them. Uh, Madison Crushing really, really stepped up to help make this project happen. Uh, Faith Technologies, Dave Jones Plumbing, Air Temp, Green Tech. There's, there's just many, many subcontractors that have really gone above and beyond uh, in the dedication, donations. And just execution of the project to get done. Uh, a very tight time frame, so we can, we can get the, the home season really started tonight. So uh, I also want to recognize Joe Lee and the whole team at GLA Architects. This is, uh, this is ultimately their design, and, and uh, maybe the dream of the group and the, the comp combined with their vision, and they were a great partner. Uh, the city of Sun Prairie has been great to work with. Uh, not only to make the project happen, but all the way through construction. And then, uh, I guess my final thank you, I just, just want to say it's really been an honor and a privilege to work with uh, Jeff and Jen and Dave. The amount of time and just the impressiveness that, and dedication and perseverance that I've seen from, from these individuals over the last years has really been remarkable. And, uh, because really I'm proud of and everybody here and the volunteers, everybody just got kind of a very, very job and um, we've all made the community of Sun Prairie a better place to be uh, with what's been accomplished here. So thank you.